あとは頼んだぞお前はもう死んでいる何<笑> Well, welcome back to another episode review of Dragon Ball Super. This time, episode 128. This week's episode was actually pretty standard. It was the standard setup episode. Vegeta took half of it, which to my surprise, he I thought he would take to take most of it. Goku took the other half, but I really thought that they should have, you know, have Vegeta take more of it. So the second half wouldn't be so drawn out as it was. It, there was a lot of staring and going back and forth between the cameras and a lot of the spectator seats talking. I I thought that moment would have been better if they had just let it flow without all the cutting and the staring. Though the f- second though the second part may have been weak, the first part was especially strong. It was very emotional and it conveyed just just how much Vegeta placed importance on his family and his promise to Kappa, etc. He got knocked down, he got back up. He tried to hit Jiren even though he could not even go Super Saiyan. He was completely out of stamina. I thought he should have been out of stamina since the episode before because he did the final explosion. This actually makes up for all the stamina inconsistencies for the past previous episodes. Well, maybe not make up for them, but this episode it handled it well and I can only say props to Vegeta. Things that stood out to me included Vegeta staking his pride, of course. Even if he didn't win, he was determined to at least have Universe 7 survive. He was trying to draw out the match, trying to take an arm from Jiren. You know, he was he even hung from a rock by his leg, even though that's physically impossible. I mean, what were those physics anyway? He even gave Jiren some back talk. Like even if he told an emotionless bastard like him why he would get up and keep fighting. He'll never understand what it means to protect something. All the Boma flashbacks were also appropriate and th- they were just very emotional. In the end, he had to leave everything up to Kakarot or Goku. Even he even called himself a damned fool for not being able to keep his promise. And that's something Vegeta hardly does. This is one time, another time, the second time where he completely concedes everything to Goku. Another thing that stood out to me in a particularly distasteful way is how Goku just laid there throughout the entire first half and watched Vegeta get pummeled by Jiren's heavy fists. It was kind of uncharacteristic. Even though he was completely out of stamina, Vegeta was too, and Goku would normally pick himself out, out up out of those kinds of situations. But he did not and just stayed there with, you know, a pained face, a pained look on his face. and I, i just thought that was very uncharacteristic so another thing that stood out to me and it has been standing out to me for a while now so it's it's something everybody knows jiren still he still acts like an ass and he still just doesn't understand why they all put their faith in goku i mean guy don't you see how many times he's broken his limit in this tournament alone that means give him give him a little bit more time and he'll completely surpass you Like the way that you think just isn't logical at this point even though you don't you know get trust there's no re- you can see that Goku will someday or in a few more minutes surpass you any any second now to be honest you're just sounding like a typical villain who understands nothing another thing that was pretty weird is that when Goku super surpassed his limits and went ultra instinct yet again Frieza was one of those people he talked about i know Frieza's on the team and all but it was it was just weird why would you think of freeza goku just why oh and that's one thing i also forgot remember freeza is still on the stage so i think i'm right freeza will help save them save universe 7 goku will probably stall enough for the next two episodes or so cuz there're only three episodes left and two of those are probably going to be goku fighting jiren and one of them is just going to be the conclusion of super as a whole until the next time so freeza is actually there for a pretty good purpose and we'll we'll see how they finish this up now as a setup episode this was okay and we all know that next week's episode is the one to look forward to and i'm sure a lot of us have heard the spoilers already already or seen them images of goku blanco 
I'm just kidding. That's it's mastered Ultra Instinct, but it looks like Goku Super Saiyan White. I mean, that's all it is. They made the memes into a reality. So Goku stole another thing from Gohan. He stole his meme. Sometimes I have to wonder if, if Toei is just going online and looking up fan theories and fan ideas to just put them into their show. I wonder. I mean, this is how they make money. And I don't know if a lot of fans like this, but I personally find this kind of distasteful. So I'll just see what they have for us for the ends of Super, but I'm kind of disappointed that they just chose to recolor his hair. I thought Ultra Instinct was enough. I did not think Ultra Instinct was supposed to be a transformation, even though they're making it seem... It is a transformation, to be honest. It is a transformation. Though I don't particularly like that idea. I would favor if Ultra Instinct was just an ability, in a sense, to dodge or react, react unconsciously to attacks. But no, it's a full-blown transformation. Anyways, that is the end of my review. It was an okay episode. Um, Dragon Ball Super is coming to an end. I'm looking forward to next week's episode, even though it has this title with a lot of buzzwords. But I am enthusiastic. The animation looks great. Jiren still looks like a beast, but Goku will respond in kind. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment on what you thought about the episode. And see you next week. Stay gold.